What's up you guys? So according to some of you, or a lot of you, Jeannie Mai is at it again, fetishizing her African American boyfriend, Young Jeezy. Now Jeannie Mai posted a video to her Instagram of her and Jeezy having a good time in the car with the top bag playing some Young Ted and Campbell. And in the comments, somebody asked her, did you go down on that BBC? Now, if you don't know what BBC is, BBC is like BBE, Big Black Eggplant. <laughs> now, side note, my mama be watching my videos and mama, I gotta talk about it, I'm sorry. But this is what the people wanna talk about. They say that Jeannie Mai is still fetishizing black men. And the term BBC is a comment that kind of objectifies a black man because it refers to his race and sexuality together. So it's somewhat objectifying, somewhat fetishizing. And Jeannie Mai jumped right on it and responded to that comment. And she said, yes, sir. <laughs> now, this is the thing. Back in the day, Jeannie Mai made these comments that she cannot live down. She said on the reel that she likes dark meat, but she keeps dark meat on the side. And white meat keeps her lean and mean. And so after she said it, of course, Tamar, Lonnie, they all picked up on it. Like you're saying a black man can be on the side like a side dude, but he can't be your main dude. Now, if you want a link to the video I made about that, I'll put the link in the comments so you can see what she said. Now, personally, I feel at that time, that's where she was at with it. I think Jeannie and the other ladies have grown a lot on the show. And at that time, that's where she was at. But I do feel like she's grown. And she made some comments recently about being in an interracial relationship and how that makes you responsible for learning about that other person's culture. During an interview on Big Boy's Neighborhood, Jeannie Mai said, I th this is a quote, I think when you look at the word interracial, you should really look at it as interresponsible. It's a responsibility when you date outside of your race to learn that culture because not everybody's experience is the same. So her making that statement makes me believe that she's grown up some from when she made the comment about dark meat. I think she's learned a lot in the past few years. But I see a lot of people saying that her responding to the BBC comment is just proof that she still fetishizes black men. Now fetishizing and objectifying is kind of like when you take somebody's humanity out of the situation, like you make a specific feature about them, like their black skin or their race, you objectify them by taking out the humanity and just focus on focusing on that one feature and making that feature sexual, like making their race sexual or making their dark skin sexual. So I understand why people are saying that she objectifies or fetishizes black men and I want to get into these tweets. One person said, Jeannie just fulfilling a fetish of hers, not saying she doesn't really like Jeezy, she's always been infatuated with black men. Another person said, Jeannie Mai is so problematic. Did y'all see the Shade Room IG post? She out saying she did something with Jeezy and did something with his BB blank. Like, girl, what? And another person posted the clip of Jeannie Mai talking about dark me and said, this is all I can remember when I see Jeezy and Jeannie Mai. Did he not watch this? So this is my question. I feel like the dark me comment she's made influence a lot of people. Like anything she does with Jeezy or any other black man is seen through the lens of the dark me comments that she's made. So I want to know, do y'all think people should or will get over the comment she made about dark meat being on the side and white meat keeping her lean and mean? Do y'all think people will or even should get past those comments? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching.